Good morning, Mustangs. Let's start off the morning right and send it over to Reed and the boys at sports. Thanks, Austin and Connor. The girls took on Campbell County this week and got a dub, winning 3-2 in PKs. Next, our boys played Harrison County and beat them 2-0. Goals were scored by Justin Hinn and Bryson Whelan. The boys also took on Montgomery County and won 3-0. Goals were scored by Justin Hinn, Jordan Moore, and Alan Jump. Lastly, our football team took on Paris and got smacked 62-14. That's all we have. Back to the front desk with Austin and Connor. Wow, good week, Mustangs. Let's see what kind of crazy questions Hammy has to ask. This sentence, true or false? It's true. Bet. Bet. If, you, if it's true, that makes it false. If it's true, then <laughs> it's saying the sentence is false, right? Yeah, so it's true. No, because that Alright, is the sentence, quotes, this sentence is false. True or false? It's false. Because if it's false, that makes that makes it the true the true sentence. <laughs> Problem lost. Wait, what does this statement say? This statement is false. So it's true. <laughs> This this thing, this is so if the statement says it's false and it's true, that makes it false. So it is false. You just said it's true and false. But it's true. But it says the statement is false. Which makes it true. true. Because the statement is false. The statement is false, it can't be true. The sentence is false, it can't oh, be true. I have a seat. The sentence literally says it's false. The sentence is I false, that's, that's a true oh, statement. statement. <laughs> That doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't work. Yeah, it does. That's a stupid, stupid, stupid question. It's stupid because you can't answer it. It's stupid because it's not a question. But it is a question. It's inconclusive because you don't know if it's true or false. That's why it's stupid. It's a true. No, because that makes it sense it's false. No, it doesn't because it's still true. It's false because it's true. If Pinocchio says his nose will grow, what will happen? His nose will grow. I'm thinking it would stay the same. Because. But then you'd be lying, so then it'd grow. Yeah, but then it, it would be the truth, and then it would go back down. So you're saying it grows and goes it, back down at the same time? No, I'm saying he would, it wouldn't grow, so it would get bigger. And then, since it becomes true, then it will get smaller and it will go back to the size it was. So. That blew my mind. Hemi is one goofy guy. Let's continue and get in the spirit of Halloween with October Madness. Hello Mustangs and welcome to the second episode of October Madness. The two winners from last week were Halloween Town and Friday the 13th. So today our panel is Peter and Jenna. Hi. So the first movie to like debate about is Nightmare Before Christmas vs. Edward Scissorhands. You go ahead. Okay, well, Nightmare Before Christmas, um, the people who made it put a lot of effort into it and it has a nice story. But I think that S Edward Scissorhands has a more sad story about a man who is rejected, so I think I'm going to go with Edward Scissorhands. I'm actually going to go with Nightmare Before Christmas um, because of the cartoon and just because of how it's illustrated and analyzed. 
And I really like the storyline behind it and how everyone comes together in the end. Since there's only two people, I'm gonna go ahead and vote for Nightmare Before Christmas. That's like my favorite movie of all time. Tim Burton is the man. I mean, both movies are Tim Burton, but like, I don't know. I just love Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a, it's a classic. Um, so our second movie is Scream vs. Halloween. All right, well, both are about murderers, but I honestly think Scream is more iconic and but Halloween definitely is more suspenseful, so I'm gonna go with Halloween. I'm actually gonna side with Peter on this one too. I like Halloween just because of how um, creepy it is and the suspense that it gives you at the end. I mean, I vote Halloween too, so that's the second winner. So the two winners for today is Night Before Christmas and Halloween. Tune in for the next episode of October Madness, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wow, that was a straight sleeper pick from the panel. Shocking. Piggybacking October Madness, let's take a look at those service day clips. I went to the welcome house and uh, we organized stuff like baby clothes. So people need stuff like clothes or like food. Uh, we organized it so they like know where it is so they can get it easier for people that need it. People living like they ain't got no mamas. I think the whole world's addicted to the drama. Only attracted to things that I went to Carl Lanner and I realized that taking a little bit out of our time can really put a smile on people's faces and help them a lot. In the USA, the big CIA, the bloods and the crips and the KKK. But if you only have love for your own race, then you only leave space to discriminate and to discriminate only generations. So for service day, I would I raked up some leaves and painted the house. And what I learned from it was that just doing something simple, uh, such as just painting the house, can just help someone out a lot. And just really make so I went to the Brighton Center and we had to make a classroom and then after we did that we had a with the kids and what we made a difference for them was is the classroom that we made gave opportunities for more kids to come in and learn STEM and things. Where is the love, the love, the love. It just ain't the same, always in change. So I went to the Rose Garden and we packaged food from the day for people who were going to come to the Rose Garden. And it kind of made me feel good about myself. She just smells really good and suffering. As the youth are young, so ask yourself, is the loving really gone? So I could ask myself, really, what is going wrong in this world that we live in? People keep on giving. Wow, incredible, you guys. Yes, yes, that was. Wonder how the weather will be this week. Let's see what Pity has to say about it. Weatherman, weatherman, weatherman. Good morning, Mustangs. Hope you all had a great weekend. This is the weather report for this week. On Monday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 67 and a low of 49. Tuesday will be rainy with a high of 61 and a low of 42. Wednesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 36. Thursday will be sunny with a high of 57 and a low of 41. Friday will be partly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 40. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 44. And finally, at the end of the week on Sunday, it will be sunny with a high of 61 and a low of 48. That's the weather for this week. Hope you all have a great one. Thanks, Peter. Have a great week, Mustangs.